Prophet Muhammad, blessing and peace upon him, was born in Mecca in 571. He is from the Beni Hashim, of the Quraysh, the most populous tribe of Mecca and Arabia. His father was Abdullah, the son of Abdulmutalib, who is the leader of the Quraysh tribe and ruler of Mecca, and his mother was Amina, the daughter of Wahhab bin Abdi Manaf, from the Zura tribe of the same tribe. The father of last prophet Muhammad, passed away before he was born yet. When he turned six, his mother passed away. Upon this, his grandfather Abdul Muttalib took Muhammad, blessing and peace upon him, under his protection. When his grandfather Abdul Muttalib passed away when he was eight years old, Muhammad, blessing and peace upon him, taken under the protection of his uncle Abu Talib. He had to be a shepherd when he was 10, 12 years old. Despite these harsh conditions, Muhammad blessing and peace upon him, was living a glorified life, and was known for his honesty and righteousness. That is why, in his youth, he gained the appreciation and respect of everyone, and he started to be called Muhammad al-Amin Reliable, Trustworthy Muhammad. Muhammad blessing and peace upon him, went to Syria with his uncle, who was engaged in trade when he was young. Later, he accepted the offer of a rich widow named Hatije bint Huvilat to run her business. Muhammad blessing and peace upon him was 25 when he married Khadija, may Allah bless her in 595, and Khadija was 40 at that time. Muhammad blessing and peace upon him was engaged in trade for a while after this marriage. As he approached the age of 40, signs of transformation began in his life. Meanwhile, the tendency to move away from the crowd and to contemplate most of his time began to dominate him. For this purpose, he would go to the cave on Hira mountain near Mecca, stay there for a long time, and spend his time thinking. It was the material and spiritual breakdown of the society that made him think the most. When Muhammad blessing and peace upon him, was forty years old, the first revelation came to him on Mount Hira. This revelation was sent by God through the angel called Gabriel blessing upon him and was the first verses of the surah that began with the word, Ikra, read. Thereupon, Muhammad blessing and peace upon him returned home and his wife. He asked Khadija be pleased with her to cover himself. After finding tranquility, he told this incident to his wife and read the verses that were revealed. Khadija be pleased with her immediately believed in his prophethood and became the first Muslim. Later, he declared his prophecy to Ibu Baker be pleased with him, Ali be pleased with him and his freed slave Zayd be pleased with him. All of them believed and became Muslims. Muhammad blessing and peace upon him, was secretly telling those he trusted that he was a prophet. No revelation came within this three-year secrecy. While still in Hira, the second revelation came to Muhammad blessing and peace upon him. Prophet Muhammad blessing and peace upon him declared himself a prophet by removing the matter from secrecy and asked the people of Mecca to believe in his prophethood. The chiefs of the Quraysh tribe, did not take these actions of Muhammad blessing and peace upon him seriously in advance. But Islam was spreading and getting stronger, especially among the poor people and slaves. The Quraysh leaders, who were concerned about this, started to pressure Muhammad blessing and peace upon him, and those who believed in him. In addition, because Islam opposed their idols, they were faced with the danger of losing their political population, and being deprived of the financial interests they gained from the idols in the Kaaba. Muhammad blessing and peace upon him, on the other hand, continued to spread Islam despite all the pressure exerted on him and his friends. Some of the Muslims, who could not bear the repression and torture, had to migrate to Abyssinia with the permission of Muhammad blessing and peace upon him. One of the main events in the Mecca period is the Miraj event. Muhammad blessing and peace upon him announced that he went from Mecca to Masjid al-Aqsa in Jerusalem one night, and from there he went up to the skies and before Allah accompanied by angels. This incident led the Qurayshi leaders to be very harsh on Muhammad blessing and peace upon him, and accuse him of lying. 
Seeing that it was impossible to spread Islam in Mecca, Muhammad blessing and peace upon him decided to go to a place where he could spread Islam more easily. When he went to Taif for this purpose, the Taif, under the influence of the Quraysh, insulted Muhammad blessing and peace upon him, and pelt him to their children. Muhammad blessing and peace upon him, after talking secretly with some of the tribal leaders who came from Madinah to Mecca for Hajj, he decided to migrate from Mecca to Medina. Learning that all of the Muslims had come out of Mecca, the leaders of the Quraysh decided to kill Muhammad blessing and peace upon him in order to prevent the spread and strengthening of Islam. A person of all tribes would be chosen and they would go together and kill Muhammad blessing and peace upon him. However, Muhammad blessing and peace upon him learned about this event before, and he set out for Madinah with Abu Bakr be pleased with him. Muhammad blessing and peace upon him and Abu Bakr be pleased with him arrived at Kuba, near Medina on September 20, 622, after hiding for three days in the Soar cave near Mecca. The Prophet Muhammad blessing and peace upon him, who was welcomed by the people of Madina, built the Kuba Mosque, the first mosque in the world, which he himself worked on. After 14 days of visiting, Muhammad blessing and peace upon him set out for Madina and performed his first Friday prayer in the Bani Salim district between Kuba and Medina. After entering the city amidst the affectionate demonstrations of the people of Madina, he became a guest of Abu Ayyub Ansari be pleased with him. He both taught the principles of Islam to the people in Madinah, and also discussed all political, military and administrative affairs with his friends there. He was now both a prophet and president. He sent ambassadors to the tribes he invited to Islam and appointed governors and judges to places that accepted Islam. Muhammad blessing and peace upon him was determined to protect Islam by making military arrangements. Meccans continued their hostile attitude in the second year of the migration. Muslims won the battle in Badr, which is between Mecca and Medina, in 624. After this war, the Meccans attacked the Islamic army again in 625 with new forces, on the slopes of Mount Uhud. In the war that continued in favor of the Muslims, the separation of the rearguard forces and their participation in the war turned the war in favor of the Meccans. In this war, the uncle of Muhammad blessing and peace upon him, Hamza be blessed him, and many Muslims were martyred and, Muhammad blessing and peace upon him was wounded. After this victory, the people of Makkah marched on Medina in 627, taking the Jews of Kaibar with them. Muhammad blessing and peace upon him went to the defense by digging trenches around the city of Madinah to protect himself from the attacks of the Meccans. The enemies who could not get any result from the 20-day blockade were dispersed. After the War of the Trench, the opinion that Islam cannot be eradicated became widespread. Many tribes accepted Islam. In 628, the Hudaybiyah Agreement was signed with the Meccans. With this treaty, which stipulated that Muhammad blessing and peace upon him would stop making the pilgrimage that year, but that he could come and go freely the following year, the Meccans first recognized the power of Muhammad blessing and peace upon him. The next year, the castle of Kaibar and its surroundings, which were in the hands of the Jews, was conquered. Muhammad blessing and peace upon him marched on Mecca with an army of 10,000 men in 630. The people of Mecca, who thought that resistance would not yield any results, surrendered the city. The majority of the people of Mecca accepted Islam. Muslims, who also fought with the Byzantines, spread over a wide area from the Indian Ocean to the Syrian borders, from the Red Sea to the Persian Gulf. Muhammad blessing and peace upon him, who went on pilgrimage with a group of 100,000 people in 632, read the famous farewell sermon. This sermon was a speech in which many important principles of the religion of Islam were explained. It covered many social issues such as equality between people, respect for women's rights, prohibition of usury and blood feuds. Muhammad blessing and peace upon him, who returned to Medina after the farewell pilgrimage, was suddenly ill. 
He passed away on June 8, 632, in the arms of his wife Aisha be pleased with her. He was buried in the room of Aisha be pleased with her. And this place was later turned into a tomb. 